Now in the last video we talked about this concept of the least upper bound, but to make that rigorous we have to talk about the notion of ordering numbers. And so we define the notion of an abstract partial order. So if we have a non-empty set x and a relation on that set, then we call it a partial order if the following three conditions hold. It must be reflexive, meaning that the relation holds between any element and itself always. It must be anti-symmetric, which means that if the relation holds in one direction and also holds in the other, then the two elements must actually be equal. Notice that these are properties that are true for the regular less than or equal to on, say, the integers. Finally, it must be transitive, meaning that if A precedes B and B precedes C, then A precedes C. And finally, as some syntactic sugar, A succeeds B means B precedes A, and A strictly precedes B means that A precedes B and they're not equal.